Channel North News is proudly brought to you by the Northern Advocate. <laughs> So our message is pretty simple. Uh, we just don't believe that New Zealand should be owned and controlled by foreign companies. And there's just too much of that going on. You know, this, our country is not a company. John Key seems to think our country is a company, you know, and it's not, it's a country. And it's, uh, we just don't want our resources and things to be, uh, to be controlled by overseas interests. The opinion polls have said that over 60% of New Zealand population are against uh, asset sales. And so, um, the opposition parties, the Mana Party, the Māori Party, the Labour Party, the Greens Party are all against asset sales, but there's nothing that the opposition parties can do because they simply don't have the numbers. And so now the issue has bounced back into the court of public opinion and it's up to the people now to send a clear message to the government that they're against it. If we can make this issue as toxic as possible to the government, uh, our hope is that they will walk away from these policies. And if they don't, uh, well then that sends a clear message to the electorates that uh, we've got a government that's prepared to surrender the economic sovereignty of our country to foreign control and that's not good for our country. Our grandparents, our parents pay taxes to build up the infrastructure of this country in order to provide revenue to, uh, for the provision of uh, health, education and welfare services. And if we don't have the capacity to generate income for our country, well then we don't have the money to spend on the essential social services that our people uh, are so badly in need of. And so this is why we're an objection to asset sales. We think it's economic, uh, economic madness. So we're here in Otangare and uh, we've been here for the night staying at the Otangare Marae. We're travelling uh, today down to Auckland. We'll be spending a couple of days in Auckland. Uh, we've got a campaign of getting information out around the Auckland suburbs over the next couple of days. And then on Saturday, uh, we're going to be assembling at um, Victoria Park, which is just on the south side of the Harbour Bridge at 2pm 2, 2 on Saturday. Then we're walking up Fanshawe Street to, um, to Queen Street where we meet, we're going to fold our action into a, another march that's been planned for Auckland as part of the Sikoi and we're going to be marching up Queen Street and there'll be a rally at the end of Queen Street. From the uh, messages we're getting from Auckland there's going to be quite a significant amount of people participating in this event. Um, we've had the, um, all the major opposition political parties have uh, endorsed it. Uh, lots of NGOs like Greenpeace and, um, and other non-governmental organisations Church-based groups have endorsed, endorsed us, so expecting quite a large turnout. And then um, once the Auckland event is uh, completed on Saturday, we'll be travelling down to Huntley. We will be welcomed moving into the uh, Waikato area uh, amongst the Tainui people. And uh, we'll continue our journey south, arriving in Wellington on the 3rd of May. Once we get to Wellington, um, we've got a, uh, a range of events that are planned for the, for the following week. We're going to be based down in Wellington for a week. Um, and the reason for that is that during the 2004 Hikoi, uh, we arrived in Wellington, some 40, 50,000 people, and the politicians knew that within 12 hours we'd be gone. All that they needed to do was to hold their breath for 12 hours and we'd be gone. So this time we're not going to do that, we're going to remain in Wellington, we're going to be demonstrating on a number of issues which we believe are interrelated. Uh, that's deep sea oil drilling, uh, the mining, uh, which, and the SSLs, and it's all part of the same agenda basically. It's about uh, taking the wealth of this country and giving it to somebody else and seeing all those profits go offshore. And uh, that's, that's what we're going to be doing when we hit Wellington. Yeah, or just um, for people to be aware of what's happening within this country, if you love this country, if you um, are concerned about the future of this country, don't, uh, don't feel uh, disempowered, you know. You can stand up and have your voices heard. Um, if this goes to air prior to us uh, reaching Auckland, by all means come down and join us in Auckland. And if you have the ability to come down to Wellington, uh, it's going to be a major event. There's going to be lots of activities. The, uh, there's accommodation and food provided. Uh, Sungata Talav, who is, the, um, who is one of the leaders from Atiawa in Wellington, said that he will provide uh, food and, and accommodation for, for uh, 20,000, 30,000 people. He said, no matter what you bring down, Mike, we will look after you while you're there. So, so if people want to come down, uh, rest assured you'll be looked after when you get there. Channel North News is proudly brought to you by the Northern Advocate. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.